Okay, today I'm going to show you how to set up a real simple Samba share. So the first thing you want to do is on the machine that's doing the sharing, you want to set up user accounts. So what you want to do is go to Preferences, scroll down to you see User Accounts, click on it. You can also type it in and be faster that way too. Click on Lock, enter in your administrator password. What you want to do is scroll over to the plus sign, click it. Um, I would leave the account type standard, but you can make them an administrator if you want. Then I'll type in a person's name. In this case, I'm typing Bob. You can change the username if you want, but I'll just leave it alone. Then I'll enter in two more names. Put in Sherry. Then just for fun of it, we'll give the hobo next door access. Click add. And what you want to do is give each account a password. So go over to account disabled, click on it, and then enter in a password for each person. And click change. And then just repeat for the other two. Now I'm going to go under the assumption that these people will not have physical access to this machine, so bear that in mind when doing this. Okay, when everything's done, just double check make sure everyone has a password, then click close. Now what you want to do is go back to the menu. Go back to preferences and either type in or scroll down to Synaptic Packet Manager. Type in your password. Now in the search bar there, type in Samba. And you want to make sure you have installed. So you have Samba installed. Also make sure you have System Config Samba installed. They'll give you the GUI to make this a whole lot easier. So once that's installed, exit that. Now just type in Samba. You'll see that's there. Click on it. Enter in your password again. As you see, some of the shares are there. You can delete those if you want. But I'll go to Preferences, Server Settings. Make sure everything's still. I normally just leave it the way it is. Click OK. Now you want to add your Samba users. Click Add User. Click Unix Username and add the names that you added on User Settings. Uh, Windows Username, you put just about anything you want. I found that they're actually interchangeable when you go to uh, type that stuff in. Give a Samba password. Recommend it not be the same password as uh, the user account. Click OK, go back and add the other two users. Now bear in mind that this tutorial is more for user account. It's not really a secure way of doing it, but it's just, you know, if you, you know, security's not a problem, then you know the same big issue then this is the easiest way of doing it like if you got children you're just setting up access to certain accounts then this would work just fine okay now you want to click OK for all them now you want to add your folders that you want to share so click browse I'm going to add my music folder so click on that, click OK. Now you want to click on Writable, Invisible. And then under Access, you see the names we added. Or you can allow everybody to have access to it, which is very unsecure, but, you know, again, security is not a problem. So go ahead and click on the names. Click OK. You see music has now been added. And if everything goes all right, 
we'll switch over to uh, the other machine here and then just open up your file program and click network since we're testing this for a Windows network click on Windows network and there and when you double click on music here in a second since the first time accessing it take a little bit should come up with a box asking you for username and password there it is so type in your username which be Bob Sherry or Hobo so when type that in type in Sherry type in her password and down below you got forget password immediately remember password until you log out or remember forever so just select which one you want click connect and then give some a second to transfer you inside the folder Now, Sherry should have full read and write access. So to test this, right click and click on Add Folder. And as you can see, we got a little problem because it's telling her that she only has reading rights. So what we need to do is go back to the other machine, click on your folder view, go to the music folder, right click on it. We can go to sharing options, but I want properties. So click on properties. Now click on the share tab, share this folder, allow others to create and delete files on, in this folder, and click create share, add permissions automatically. Now go back up to permissions, and I'll just add this just to make sure. Go down to where it says group, click on that, scroll down, bar and then scroll down to where it says Samba Share and click apply permissions to enclosed files and then click on close and as you can see over there on the music folder you now have a new little icon there on top of the folder that indicates it's being shared and as you see like root and remaster they both have locks which indicate that they have specific users that can only access those folders so what we want to do now is go back to the other machine, click on network, network, and go back through, then click on music again, should come up and want you to type in your password again, so what comes up here in a second. Okay, this time I'm going to put Sherry2 to show you that the names are interchangeable. Then put in her password. This time I got forgot password immediately selected. Click OK. Now we just wait to log into, into that folder. Now we right click create folder and there it is. So that's the quick and easy way of doing a Samba share where security is not really a big issue. We just want to create something for the family to access. This is the easiest way of doing it. This has been a Turtle Man production. Thank you for viewing.